Okay, so the movie that I chose to do for this project was Coco Chanel and Igor Stravinsky, which was filmed in 2009 by Jan Cohen. And this movie is the argument of if it's a biography or not. And personally, I don't think it is. I think it's a biography about their love. But when you think of someone's biography, for example, Coco Chanel, you think of what made her want to become um, a huge fashion designer. And to this day, you think of Coco as a fashion designer. And for example, in Igor's case, you think of what made him want to become a, a composer and what obstacles he went through. And so that's what you think of as a bibliography. And this movie, on top of that, is based upon just allegations. Because yes, Igor and his family did live in Coco's house for a number of times, for sorry, a number of months, but there was no hard evidence they were having an affair, which means this movie was based upon allegations, which means it's not technically correct and reliable, therefore not being made, not being considered a biography. So off the bat, this is not a biography, but it you could say this is a biography about their love, and it all started at 1151 when Coco went to go see Igor's, one of Igor's first performances, and unfortunately, it was kind of a bust, but at 11.51, you see a close-up of Coco's face, and even though you see the music is being diegetic, you see her, so it becomes non-diegetic, but you just gotta focus on her face, and you can just see that in that instant, she has fallen in love with Igor, whether it be his music or him, him, or him as a whole, and so that's basically when the love connection started, and then at um, 2511, Igor spots Coco at a party, and the music is non-diegetic as well, but what's interesting is that out of everyone in the party, he goes to Coco, and then it's just a close-up of his face, and that's when you see that he's kind of fallen in love with her as well, and he even asks one of his friends that is with him, and Coco is with the man, and he asks him, is that her husband? And he says, no, that's her lover. And you kind of see, like, a sign of relief in Igor's face. And then, unfortunately, he passes away. But it's, that was, then they met up, and that's how she said that if he wants to live in her house, he could. And so then he moves in with his family, and then you get to this very powerful scene at 5038, and this is the first scene where you actually see them touch. And it happens when Coco and Igor are playing the piano. And it's an extreme close-up of their hands. And of course, it's diegetic because you see them playing. But that's basically when they first click. And that's when the affair starts. And that's when the bi biography of their love happens. And so, but... In the movie, even though it's not a biography of their lives, there are certain aspects which can be. For example, at an hour and 13 minutes, you see Coco doing what she does best, and that is forming her career in the fashion industry. And it's a scene about how she um, kind of came up with her famous Chanel Number no. 5 perfume. And if you know Coco, you know that that's her famous perfume. And you can, and it's really important because you see just a close-up of her smelling the fragrances. And it's kind of how she started her career, which I do enjoy that's in the movie. Because you see certain, like I said, certain aspects of how their careers have formed. But again, they're so minor in this huge detail of their love that you don't see them having, having this call be called a biography. And so, yes, it's a biography, like I'd said, about their relationship. However, it's not a biography of their lives. And as previously mentioned, a biography has to be about someone and their upbringing in the industry, whether it be in fashion, in Coco's case, or Igor's case, in music. So it's just not a biography. And on top of that, this movie was based upon allegations, which isn't hard evidence and hard and a biography is supposed to be a hundred percent non-fiction and this movie is basically fiction um and my conclusion is that 
those are aspects to why this is not a biography.